Missouri won the toss. They have deferred. Alabama will receive as the sun begins to set. And Josh Jacobs is back deep for the Crimson Tide. And he'll take it from the one. And get out to the 19-yard line. Here's Todd McShay. He's one of the only people I've known in Alabama history with Nick Saban that gravitate towards him instead of away from him. Yeah, Nick says everybody runs away from him. This guy's special. He's different. On and off the field. Down the middle of the field is Jerry Judy. Who else for the score? 81 yards on the second play from scrimmage. Make it seven for seven. Opening scoring touchdown drives. All those great numbers, and yet has gone over two full games without throwing a touchdown pass. Up to throw, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Savion Smith. Smith the other way. Down the sideline. Looks like he stepped out of bounds, shy of the one. From the 11, Tungo Bailoa throwing for it. And his receiver, Devontae Smith, got turned around. And it'll be fourth down. Mac Jones, who is the third-string quarterback, he is now the holder for Joseph Bullivus. This will be a 30-yard opportunity for Bullivus, who is 5 of 8 on the season. And he is perfect. We're not even two minutes in. 10 nothing. Less than two minutes in already with a 10 to nothing lead. Here come the Tigers. We'll see how they answer. On the ground, Demarie Crockett. Locke has protection and throws, and it is caught. It's Albert O, his big tight end, Okue Bunam, for the big first catch. Gain of 23, exactly what the doctor ordered. As we come back, on a third down and eight, batted down. The ball was knocked away. Anthony Jennings. He's a humble kid. He's had the perfect approach to, to Alabama and Nick Saban. He's a bit of a character. His teammates seem to just absolutely love being around him. Quick screen to Henry Ruggs, the first and fastest player in the program. Shows off some of those wheels. Henry Ruggs. There is a flag down behind the play. Third down and eight. Mizzou rushing five. Tonga Baloa gets rid of it. It's Judy. Makes some people miss. He's out to the 35. He's got plenty of first down yardage. I don't understand how that was third and eight. There was a personal foul face mask penalty on Wills, and it was third down and eight in that situation. On the ground, Josh Jacobs has another first down. I was told there would be no math. Tungo Bailoa continues to spread it out. Both sides of the field. Devontae Smith that time on the receiving end. Demarcus Acey able to knock him out. Tungo Bailoa so far is 4 of 8 in the game. He's 75% on the season. Got plenty of time. Now takes a hit and he fumbles the football. Ball comes out and it's recovered by Mizzou. Tough, tough two-point loss a week ago in the rain at South Carolina. On the ground, quick hitter handoff to Larry Roundtree. And it's going to bring him a third and short. Third and one, it is Roundtree. Has first down yardage, down to the 33 of Alabama. Second down and nine. Roundtree, it's going to be another loss. It's Raekwon Davis who met him in the backfield. Block with time. Oh, Kue Boonham makes the grab, but he comes up short. He's about two yards shy. So we are back. Yardage remains the same. A 43-yard attempt. There was no penalty. They got the timeout instead. So here's Tucker McCann. Bit of a high snap on the way and McCann squeezes it home West Virginia prior to today hadn't trailed for a single second on the season 
Took him a lower throwing off the play fake to Devontae Smith. Down to the 43 yard line. But the glue that holds it all together is number 13. On the ground, it's Damian Harris for first down yardage. Brandon Lee was the injured Tiger. It's Harris with some people in front of him, picking up his blocks beautifully inside the 30-yard line for Trey Williams swung him around. That's Hurts in the slot. They put him in motion, give him the football. Hurts to throw. Why not? Able to complete to Harris out of the backfield. He has the first down. He is crashed down into. That's Hurts in the slot to the left of Tungo Bailoa. Much better when you draw a circle around him. <laughs> and it's Hurts on the receiving end of the throw. He's greeted quickly by six or seven white jerseys led by Khalil Oliver. From the 10. Can get the first down. Try on the other side. Looking for Judy. Looked like he got tied up in some traffic. Joseph Bulavis on to attempt a 28-yard field goal after already hitting from 30. And able to put that through. This receiving core for Missouri has to help Drew Locke in this game. Jonathan Johnson has dropped too many balls this season. Here's Beatty. Try the left side behind his blockers, and he has first down yardage. 5'9", 190 from Memphis. And now another challenge for Drew Locke. And to Todd's point, when these NFL scouts look at this kid, they're going to look at Alabama and Georgia games. Beatty able to turn the corner. Alabama hustling to get players off the field in the final half minute. Mac Wilson to tackle. That looked like a horse collar from here. Bama only rushing three. Locke has time for lunch. And time to find his man for the touchdown. It's Jalen Knox for the score. A beauty of a ball. We've seen a lot of different sets from Alabama offense. We saw Jalen Hurts on the last drive. Now we've got two halfbacks in the game with Josh Jacobs and Najee Harris. And it is Harris, the second man through. Tyree Gillespie, who made the stop, has moved into a starting role. He's played so well. Play fake. Tonga Bailoa throwing and completing to Jalen Waddell, the true freshman. And it's Gillespie again, another tackle. Personal foul, welcome the passer. Defense number five. It's a 14-yard reception, plus the 15-yard penalty. And tied on the move. Tungo by a lower throw. That ball was tipped in the middle, and Waddle still able to make the grab inside the 20. Third red zone trip for Alabama. A couple of field goals have come from it. Second down and five. Harris won't get back to the line of scrimmage. It is Therese Hall making the stop there. Targeting was detected on number 24 of the defense. The kill will be enforced after the two goal. Automatic first down. Tunga by Lowe to throw. Back of the end zone. Caught. Touchdown. Irv Smith in the back of the end zone for the score. Rock going the wrong way, gives up the football, it's loose, it's still loose, and Alabama's going to recover. I think Jennings is on top of it. Crimson Tide take over at the 13-yard line. Tunga Bailoa looking to throw for it quickly. Devontae Smith in there for the score. Here's Locke, sideline, what a grab. Jalen Knox stuck his hands out. Second down and nine, off a draw. Bama wasn't buying that. 
Quinn and Williams made the stop. Give me a minute. I'm busy over here. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't pay the bill. Had McShay doing the dishes. <laughs> Story of our lives. Now, McShay did a great job. That sauce is, you know, I, I think I figured out the secret of the sauce. There's a little twang and mustard, a little twang in there. I right. think that's what I'm going with. That's the secret, and now the secret's out. Here's Tugger by Lowe to throw. Got a man down the field. Of course he does. Devontae Smith taken out of bounds at the 15 by Gillespie. Bama trying to add to their lead. And looking to throw for it. All sorts of time, and it is caught. Touchdown. Hale Henches. But there is a flag. Holding on the offense, number 73. It's tough on the officials, too, man. It's not easy for anybody out there. Set up the screen. Harris beautifully inside the 10, picking up blockers. And down to the three. Garrett made sure he did not hit pay dirt. Pressure up the middle. The throw off the fingertips of Irv Smith. And it'll be fourth down. Here's Bullivus. On for his easiest attempt of the night. He's already hit from 30 and 28. This one from 21. Knocked it through. See if Mizzou can get some points here before the half. Two and a half to play. Drew Locke throwing and completing to Jalen Knox. Beatty is their star in these two minute drives. Not performing even the wide receivers. Beatty sneaks out. Looked like Locke wanted to hit him, and instead he was hit. Christian Miller. Fatoni back to punt. His third punt opportunity of the night. We'll get it in the air. Jalen Waddle will let it bounce, and it is down at the one yard line. Tonight they're off the page. They're having an off what's, night. What's Greece. going on? Yeah. <laughs> hey, McShay, when you talk, <laughs> when you talk to Coach Saban, I know I'm in him, trouble when you can't him, even get the question out. Before ask laughing. him what's wrong. Yeah, he'll love that. <laughs> they're ten points off their season average at the half. I know we appreciate that. Lock on third and nine on the check down to Beatty. Beatty had to get free and could not. <laughs> I would start firing coordinators. Yeah. Right? I would start benching players. What is going? What is wrong with Alabama? <laughs> on the ground to Damian Harris. Reverses field, stays on his feet, and has first down yardage at Sports Center. We used to run the panic meter, right? <laughs> Third down and ten. Tug of Ilo will take off for the first time. He's got plenty of green and crosses the imaginary yellow line for first down yardage. Now we'll see if he's okay on the way up. Yeah. It's a gain of 11. On his run, which looked like first down yardage, he went into his slide a little too early. He's marked a yard shy of the first down. And this is Skyler DeLong right out of witness protection. And he shanks it. Wow. Two and a, you're talking about a rusty punter. More than two and a half games, Alabama has gone without punting. Looking that way. Locking all sorts of trouble. He's going to be taken down. Dropped at the 36. Isaiah Bugs was there with some help from his friends. Second sack of the night for the Bama defense. So a golden opportunity. For Mizzou goes awry. Jalen Waddle. You gotta put a flight. Looked like he had did not have a chance to make that catch, and you see the flag on the field. What a luxury. Yeah, 26 and two. as a starter, and he lost his job. Yeah. That's more that's less about Hertz, more about Tunga Bailoa. On third and one is Jacobs. He got a good look at what Skylar DeLong was looking at. If they came up short, that might have been another punting situation. Henry Ruggs with all that speed. 
inside the 40. Second and three. Hertz puts it in the belly of Jacobs, and he has the first down. Devontae Smith injured in that second quarter, and they'll keep it on the ground with Jacobs. Able to cut it upfield. And they're just continuing to go right down the field, not throwing it like they did in the first half, but on the ground. The luxury of having five-star players everywhere you look. Najee Harris sent back. This will be a long field goal attempt. 52 yards for Joseph Bullivis. His career long is 47. Did hit a 52-yarder in high school. This is in high school. And that throw, an errant throw. Too low and behind Jonathan Johnson. So a lock comes up small again. Here's Hertz. On the ground. Harris. First down yardage. Here's Adnan Burke. As you chuckle. On the ground of Harris. Another first down. So this is the first time this year Alabama has had three straight possessions with no points. There's a flag down as Hurts sets the throw. Down the middle of the field, it's Judy, he's got it. Beat Christian Holmes. Final 35 ticks in the third quarter. Blitz picked up nicely. Hurts on the move. Inside the 10, and he takes a shot out of bounds. It's Kale Garrett who's in on every play. Hurts, Damian Harris didn't get there. And Mizzou stands. Another opportunity for Drew Locke from his end zone. Pump and he's taken down. Quinn and Williams. That's one way to add some points. The first Alabama safety since the SEC championship game against Florida in 2015. And because of the safety, Alabama avoids a scoreless quarter <laughs> on the final play. Josh Jacobs out beyond the 40, beyond the 50, and to the other 40 of Missouri. And you, you just, you never know when these injuries, will, the bug will come up and bite you. Especially, you know, really three key offensive players all happening here tonight. What a luxury to have a Jalen Hurts able to throw to Henry Ruggs who looks just fine. Those two guys should touch the ball every single time inside the five. Damian Harris bouncing outside for the score. Touchdown, Alabama. Minnesota gave the Buckeyes all they could handle for a long part of that game. Here's third and one. Jalen Knox out to the 40. He's got first down yardage. Roundtree really close. Phil Mathis stopped him. After the play was over, unsportsmanlike conduct, defense number 99. The penalty is 15 oh. yards in the succeeding spot. Automatic first down. Third down and eight. 10 to go. Locke trying to skip out of trouble and can't. Mac Wilson got enough to upend him. The conference can look at it. Fourth down and nine. Gotta have it. And I think they do. We'll see where they spot the forward progress. Paul's father passing away unexpectedly a couple of nights ago. It was thought if not for that, he would be here and could have helped the Tigers here today. That close to returning. Larry Roundtree on the receiving end, and that will put Mizzou over 200 yards finally. Starting defensive front seven and, and in the back end. All of them are still out there. Third down and three. Here's Crockett. Gets to the edge and is sent flying back by Christian Miller. Fourth and four. Can get a first down. 
Lofting for the end zone, and instead of the first down, it's picked off. That's how the night started. Savion Smith, his second interception of the game. I don't know about you, but I always wear my sunglasses when I get taped up. <laughs> Josh Jacobs for Alabama. He's got the first down as we tick down towards five minutes left in the game. Hey, why we have this chance? Being that we are at Alabama, congratulations to our own Reese Davis. Uh, but also when they tried to sign him for the Miami Dolphins and uh, Drew was coming off of a torn rotator cuff. You see a completion here to Keith. But the doctors didn't the doctors didn't clear Drew Brees. Yes he's accurate. He doesn't bowl you over with any one aspect of his game. He's consistent but I just love his demeanor. That to me is what separates him. So we take a look at tonight's PlayStation player index Drew Brees. <laughs> he's got a little brother played uh, last night here locally in yeah. Alabama and threw a touchdown pass to win the game. He's committed to Alabama. Of course he did and of course he is. Yeah right. It's so. Uh, Get used to pronouncing that name. Terrence Crawford will defend his WBO welterweight title against Jose Benavides. The undercard is streaming on the app right now. Stay tuned right here to ESPN after the game for the main event. There was some bad blood. These two got together. Some punches thrown. Some shoving, some pushing at the weigh-in yesterday. Both camps don't like each other. You get the idea. Should be a great night of main event boxing right here on ESPN. There will be a huge shakeup in the college football top 10. Number one Alabama will not be impacted. Here's Todd McShay. 